Hey everybody, welcome to another Calm Gamer review. Today we're going to take a look at a game that I actually, not too recently, reviewed as my normal self, Metroid Dread. This is the final game in the series, unless they want to, uh, well, basically the final part of the story in the actual Metroid series. So... Samus has been told by her computer that a planet is being affected by the same, by, is being, is being attacked. And she goes out to find what's going on. And in this game, you have what are called Emmys. And these things will track you. I mean, literally track you. Thankfully, they're in the only, only in Emmy zones. So, unlike in the previews that you saw, the trailers that you saw, they're not everywhere. So, the game has some merits to it. Um, it introduces us to a new villain, Raven Beak. Um, it kind of it is a story about what happened after Samus gets infected by the X parasite. Which, by the way, has not been has not been taken out of her or been affected <coughs> by anything else. So you play you play this game. It's difficult. Um, some of the Emmys, actually, all the Emmys will kill you in one hit if they get a hold of you and you don't do a time and uh, a timed event right because it will it, these things are programmed to extract the Metroid DNA that Samus has in her and is it a good game I'd say it is. I mean, if you're a big fan of Metroid, uh, if you played what, what, all the original Metroid games up to um, Fusion, this is probably one of the best games, I, th I think, in my opinion. I mean, this is the game I was looking forward to. Uh, we were, um, we were teased about it. People have talked about it. There's going to be a new Metroid game. And believe it or not, it was in development before Fusion. And they thought, well, we couldn't, they, they couldn't really put it on a Game Boy Advance. That's what they were going to do with, with it. They were going to make it a big Game Boy Advance game, but they just couldn't. So they waited until later on when we got Metroid Dread. The game sequence is... The game's bosses are epic. Uh, one of my favorite bosses is back. Thank you. Kraid. Um, he's easy. Even if you don't have... Um, the... Uh, sequence breaking done. He's pretty easy. If you do do sequence breaking... Which... which Nintendo obviously knew you were going to do this because they reward you for sequence breaking in this game. If you get the sequence break, you can kill Crane like that. All you got to do is put his health down, use the board, ball bomb, and there you go. You beat him easily. There are some tough bosses like Ravenbeak, for example. He is tough. Um, it took me four or five tries to beat that guy. And he has three phases. His phase gets a little tougher. I'd say if you have not played Metroid Dread, try it. Anyway, that is it. Um, if I ever get uh, Metroid Prime Pinball or um, Federation Force, I'll talk about those eventually. Um, as for the next games I'll talk about, 
I'm not sure. Um, I've only, I've got a whole long library of games I could talk about. I could talk about mo more Mario games. I could talk about the Zelda fetch size. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys in the next video.